And welcome back to another GTA 5 Ellis video for our tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install plugins slash callouts. Okay, so that's where we're going to help you install today. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. Help this channel out, and I'm going to help you install new callouts inside your game. What these callouts are is basically while you're on patrol as a law enforcement officer in LSPDFR, you will get a variety of different callouts with what we're about to install today. So you can have robbery, stolen vehicle pursuits, you know, just a shootout, someone with a gun, just a variety of callouts. And I get questions all the time. G4L, what kind of callouts do you use? I'm going to show you guys right now my favorite callouts that I use and show you how to install them. Okay, so what you guys want to do is you're going to go to LSPDFR, you're going to go to download. So LSPDFR's main page, go to downloads, and then you want to go down here where it says scripts and plugins. So what I'm going to say about the new plugins is this, and it's nothing against the creators. This is just the way I am and the way I've always been with my game because I stream live. Okay, the last thing I want to do is put a plugin inside my game, plugin slash call out inside my game that's going to crash my game when I am live. That no one wants that. That is by far the most annoying thing ever is to be playing a game and it just crash on you. And especially when I go live, I want my plugins and callouts to be the best. So when I deal with new plugins and stuff, I always look to see how many likes they have. And I also check the comments. So if you look at a plugin, so say you like this plugin, you're like, man, that's cool. Just go look at the comments first. If you see people in the comments are saying, hey, this is crash my game, blah, blah, blah might be something that you don't want to mess with until they update it and you know like this guy right here he just updated 44 minutes ago so there might have been something wrong or he added something to it just depends i don't know what he did but i always like to watch out for new plugins and stuff because i go live all the time and the last thing i want is for me to crash inside lspdfr why i'm live so I'm going to show you some plugins that I use, okay? And I'm just going to go through it. So right here, I use United Callouts. One of my favorite callouts for LSPDFR. It comes with a variety of callouts. So many callouts. You got robbery, drugs, burglary, and so much more. And we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So what you guys want to do is you guys are going to go ahead and want to go to Steam. So wherever you got your GTA 5 from, you want to go to the GTA 5 main directory. So for those of you that got it through Steam, you want to go to Steam Library, you want to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files, okay? So Browse Local Files this is going to pull up my GTA 5 main directory. So you can see right here, I'm going to make sure that I'm not clicked on any folder. I'm going to click over here to the side. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click Download This File. I use WinRAR to open up my zip file. So anytime that you download a plugin slash callout, it is going to be a zip file. So WinRAR is what I use to open it. It's W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. I will leave a link down in the description for you guys. So I'm going to click Download This File. Just like so, I'm going to hit Agree and Download, and it's going to pop up up here on my screen. So you're going to see right here, up at the right-hand corner of my screen, it's going to go in and pop up for me. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. And you can see right there, I'm going to go ahead and open this file. So let me go ahead and show you guys this right here. Okay. So when you come in here and I'll go and enlarge this for you, when you come in here, you're going to see this one folder right here. I'm going to click inside that folder and all different plugins are different. All of them are not the same as what, you know, each creator puts. So since I just clicked on United Callouts right here, I'm going to go inside that folder. Then I'm going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5. So this folder right here, I'm going to click inside there. And there's two folders in here that we want. We want the plugins and the LSPDFR folder. Okay, so I'm going to open up my GTA 5 main directory. And then I'm going to also grab this right here. So this United Callouts download, we have plugins and the LSPDFR. So make sure you're not clicked on any folder. If you are, click over here to the side, just like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two folders and drag and drop into my GTA 5. So just like this, drag and drop, make sure I'm not over any folders. And what it's going to do is replace the file in the destination. So I'm going to go ahead and click replace. Now yours may not say that because you don't have these callouts. Mine says it because I do have these callouts already inside my game. Another thing that I can say is say this United callout. So this creator right here, 
um, for United Callouts. Let me go back to the main page. Say this creator right here decides to update this, okay? And you want the updated version to work with the new LSPDFR or anything like that. All you guys have to do is download it and reinstall it just like we just did. So say he, say I just downloaded it and he updated it two minutes later and I wanted to go download it. So I'll click download this file again and then I'll go back to my GTA 5 main directory and drag and drop back in here. So anytime that creator updates their files, make sure you guys just download it again and then drag and drop it back in there. Replace your files just like I did. And what that does is updates it for you. So let's go download another one. So plain sight. Plain sight is really, really cool because it's, you know, it, it's kind of how law enforcement are in real life. So when you walk up to a vehicle, law enforcement are looking for what's going on in plain sight to see if they see any drugs, you know, open container or anything like that, that they can use against a person that they have pulled over. So say I walk up to a vehicle and I look over in this plain sight, plain sight is going to pop this thing up on your screen when you do a traffic stop. And it's going to say, hey, seen an open container or you see uh, drugs or something like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to be able to use that plain sight to be able to get probable cause to search the vehicle. So I like plain sight because it's realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this. So we're going to click download this file. And again, I will take these each one of these that I'm downloading. I will make sure that I link it down in the description so you guys can download exactly what I'm downloading. So I'm going to click download this file. I'm going to click agree and download. And believe me, guys, you guys are going to get used to installing plugins and stuff like that. Just be careful on what you install. So we're going to click main files and we're going to go right here to download. Just like this. And I am going to go ahead and let that download. So again, when you guys go in here, all you're going to do is open this file up. So it's downloading right now. We're going to open plain sight up. So plain sight, like I said, each creator has a different way of how they install stuff. Okay. Um, and how their plugins and downloads actually look. So this one has a plugins folder and that's all it has, okay? If you go inside the plugins folder, you're gonna see LSPDFR folder, then it's plain sight. So we're gonna go back and all you wanna do is stay right here with the plugins folder. We're gonna go ahead and pull up our GTA 5 main directory. And I'm gonna go right here where it says the plain sight download and I'm gonna drag and drop this. And again, make sure you're not over any folder. You're not clicked on any folder. Click over here to the side if you are. And what you want to do is just drag and drop this away from the folder. So don't drag and drop over a folder because if you do, it would drag it into that folder. So all you want to do is just drag and drop down here, okay, away from the folders. Drag and drop. It's going to ask me to replace it due to the fact I already have it. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Just like so. Bam. Now that is inside our game. So let's go download another one. 686 callouts. I absolutely love 686 callouts. 686 callouts is just like United callouts. It comes out with, you know, just a variety of different stuff that you get. You got fair dodger. You got someone with a weapon in their hand. You got, you know, people fighting, stuff like that. Kidnapping. There's so many calls that you can get with 686 callouts. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. Big shout out to Charlie 686. And we're going to go ahead and download this one. So let's go ahead and click download this file. Click agree and download. And we're going to go ahead and go right here. So it's going to go ahead and download. We're going to go ahead and open it up. And you guys are going to see something basically similar to every single plugin that we're installing. All it is is drag and drop. So we're going to go to open file. We're going to go to 686 callouts. I'm going to go inside the folder. And again, this creator is different than the last creator. The last creator that we did for plain sight just had a plugins folder. This one actually has a folder that we have to go inside to. So right here, you're going to see, once we go inside the 686 callouts folder, there's a plugins folder right there. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. So it's either a plugins folder or a LS Video Far folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on my GTA 5 main directory like we've been doing. And we're going to take this plugins folder, drag and drop down here. Just like so. Drag and drop. And it's going to ask me to go, oh, sorry, I accidentally clicked on GTA 5 launcher. So I did do something wrong. Yet don't want to click on them. Okay. So let's go ahead and take the plugins folder, drag and drop over here to the side. It's going to ask me to replace them due to the fact I already have them inside my game. I'm going to go ahead and replace them just like so. And you guys are going to see that is in there. So to get to these files that you just installed, say you don't want it no more. What we're going to do is we're going to go inside the plugins folder. So say you install a plugin that is crashing your game. You don't want it no more. You're sick and tired of it. And it's just driving you crazy. So what you want to do, GTA 5 main directory, go inside your plugins folder, go to the LSPDFR folder. 
right there. And you'll see I have 686 callouts, callout interface, computer light, grammar police. I have all this stuff right here. So say we don't want 686 callouts no more. So right here, 686 callouts. And then also we have files down here. So one, two, three. So we have these, this one in the folder and this one. And anytime that you install something, so let's just pick something else. So we'll, we just installed, um, let's go right here. And we just installed, we also installed, let me go ahead and find it real fast. Plain sight. So we install plain sight. So anything that's related to plain sight right there, say you don't want it in your game no more. You can right click on it and click delete. So plain sight does not have a folder up here. Some of them do. 686 callouts does have folder. So anything that's related to 686 callouts, so if it says 686 callouts or anything that was related to the plugin you no longer want, find the name for it down here and also the folder, unless it doesn't have a folder, find the files, right click, delete them if you don't want them no more. Now with United callouts, okay? So let me go ahead and pull United callouts back up. If you look, when we installed United callouts, it had two folders. It had plugins and then LSPDFR folder. So, say you don't want United Callouts no more. So, we got United Callouts right there. So, I'm going to highlight that one. I'm going to go ahead and go through here and find United Callouts. So, I'm going to go right here. And we got United Callouts down here. So, two files right here. Then we have a folder. I'm going to right-click on them. And then I will delete them. Say I don't want it no more. But, since this one had a two folders that has LSPDFR2, you guys are going to want to do this. So go back up to here to your GTA 5 main directory. So say we just deleted United Clouds out of our plugins folder. Go back up to Grand Theft Auto 5 and you want to go to LSPDFR folder. Okay, so we have our plugins. We have LSPDFR folder. Go inside the LSPDFR folder. You're going to want to go to audio. You want to go to SFX. Correction, you're going to want to go scanner. And you are going to want to go ahead and find United Callouts. So let me go through here. And you're going to see right here, United Callouts Audio. So say you delete United Callouts out of your plugins folder. You're going to want to also delete the audio. Because if the audio is still there, it could cause your game to crash. So if you deleted all of the United Callouts, you don't want it no more. Make sure you go inside the LSPDFR folder and see if you see any file related to the plugin that you just deleted. Because if you do delete it. Because if not, it's going to cause your game to crash or cause problems with you. I'm not going to delete United Callouts. I absolutely love it. So let me also go in here and show you guys something else. So we're going to go to the plugins folder. We're going to go to LSPFR. We're going to go down here where you see plain sight. So if you look at this little file right here, there's a gear icon on this one. If you go right here and go to the one that has the gear icon, right click on it, go to edit. It's going to pull up in the notepad. Okay. So you have chance of no seatbelt, 10. You have chance of open container, four. You have chance of broken rear view mirror, four. Okay, you got seatbelt, open container, broken rear view mirror, um, stuff like that. Okay, so you have that in there and you could change the chances. So if you want someone to have a not have a seatbelt on every single time you walk up to the vehicle, you could change that over. Say you want 100, put it to 100, um, whatever you want. So um, you guys can see right there, them are the only three things. I think he is updating it to put it where you see drugs or anything like that. Um, for plain sight, um, for let's see, we have United Callouts. You can't really change. I mean, you can't really change nothing in there. So some of these uh files, you can actually change stuff in there and uh, change the callouts. Say you don't want the callouts. So six a six callouts. If I right click on it, go to the one that has the gear icon on it right here. Right click on it, click edit. I could go through here and you can see. Um, the callouts that you have in here. If you don't like some of these callouts, you could turn it to false. So large vehicle pursuit, what I can do is just delete true and just put it to false, just like this. So say I don't want that call out at all. I don't want it. I don't like it. And I don't want it. So basically you could change it from true to false. So it would never give you that call ever. So you go to false and say, we're done. We don't want nothing else done in here. You go to file, you'll click save just like so. Okay, me, I like all the call outs, so I'm going to just keep it the way it is. Um, so we'll go true right there. Um, primary key to open up call outs is Y to end call outs. You can press in. Um, you got vehicle fire, fair dodger, stolen item, suspect stalker, uh, disoriented individual, um, just different stuff. Um, you got custom pursuit. 
but then you've got some other stuff in here so that is the files that you can look through say you want to change stuff i'm not going to change anything i like it the way that it is so we're going to go ahead and hop inside grand theft auto 5 and i'm going to show you some of the call outs that come with this so the different call outs that you can actually get that we installed and again LSPDFR, you guys could go through here and find plugins that you like. Just be careful on what you download. Some plugins are not the best. Some of them can crash your game. I know you guys are going to be like, oh, this looks so cool. I want to put it inside my game. If it starts crashing after installing that plugin, get rid of it. There's no need for you to keep crashing and getting mad about it. Um, so definitely get rid of it. Looks like this one has seven likes, but 42 comments. So let's go check this out real fast. I know I'm talking a lot, but I just want you guys to be familiar familiar with what's going on so let me go down here so this guy says nice call outs um just look through here oiv installer does so it looks like it's oiv install uh plugin which i don't like because you there's no real good way to get rid of it unless he has a file to remove it um Looks like he's having a lot of comments, a lot more comments than, you know, likes. So usually that's what I look at. If you got 42 comments and let's see the reviews. There's three five star reviews. So it looks like that's good. Um, only seven likes. So a lot of people don't like liking stuff. Looks like broken vehicle, domestic disturbance, barricaded terrorist and neighbor dispute. So then are the current call outs that come with it. Um, so if you want to install that one, you guys could definitely do, do that. That's up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm going to let you guys see some of the callouts that are actually involved with this. So let's go ahead and jump over to GTA 5 real fast and, uh, we'll see what we got going on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Rage Plugin Hook. I'll jump over to GTA 5 real fast. Okay guys, so now that we're inside GTA 5, what I want to show you is how to force any callout that you installed to be able to get that callout. So say you're just on patrol and you just want to wait for the call out to come out. You can press the letter M. Okay, press the letter M and you could go over here to police radio and you can make yourself available for calls. You can wait until they give you a call. Or you could press the pause menu, go to LSPDFR. You could go to call outs right here. So if you look above arrest warrant right there, it says built in call out. That comes with LSPDFR. But if we go down right here, vehicle on sidewalk, you will see that is a callout provided by 686 callouts, which we just installed. To force that callout, so say you wanted that callout, you could either press X on your keyboard or press the space bar on your keyboard. If we go down here, you can see I have so many callouts. I have super callouts. And you can also see right here, we installed United callouts. So say I wanted one of these callouts right here. Again, you could either press space on the keyboard or you can press X on your controller. So we got um, reports of a stolen emergency vehicle. I can hit space bar An and it just assistant. gave me that a call, forced that call. Oh, if I press the letter Y, it will accept that call out. So now we have a pursuit going on. And we got eyes on the so say I don't want that call out no more. So say I don't want it no more. You can hit the escape button. You could go back to LSPDFR. You go to call outs and force a different call out, okay? You can do vehicle on sidewalk. Attention, this is dispatch. All units, code four. No further units required. So you got vehicle on the sidewalk. So you can respond to that call if you don't want the last call. So that is how you get to your call outs and check them out. There's another cool thing that I did a tutorial on. It's called call out interface. So call out interface is pretty cool because I can hit F8 on my keyboard and I can select any plugin slash call out that I want, okay? And these are all the callouts that I actually have inside my game. So you got a United callouts right here. All these callouts right here. I can click on anyone and go ahead and go to them. And let's look at all of them. I mean, you got so many callouts that come with United callouts. You got heavily armed terrorist attack, warrant uh, for arrest, suspicious ATM activity, bicycle on freeway, apartment burglary, reports of illegal police car trade, um, drug deal in progress, public peace disturbance, all kinds of callouts that come with these. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you all for coming by and watching. You guys stay blessed, stay safe out there. Definitely smash that like button if you haven't already. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.